Jack Cattrall, congratulations. Ade nicked my stat on the live broadcast there, but I'm going to say it again for emphasis. 455 days out the ring. How does it feel to be back tonight? Yeah, it feels good. It's uh, It's been a tough road back, but we've finally done it. And uh, I'm happy now that it's, uh, that's done. We had a tough fight tonight against Foley, so a lot of credit to him. He gave me a good fight, but uh, ready to get back in the mix now. Not only to be back to winning ways, but you know now we're... We'll You've come through, I know you've been in the gym relentlessly over the last period, but can you truly reflect on just how challenging mentally the last while has been for you? Yeah, there's been, uh, you just said it again, I'll, uh, I'll pinch your stat, but 455 days, so there's been times where you're thinking, I've had two or three fights fall through in that period, uh, and I'm in the gym every day of the week, so it's been tough, but uh, forget all that now, I've, uh, I'm happy. Darryl Foley brought a lot of energy to fight week. He told me off camera he sold the fight well, so that's a positive, but in terms of his bite and compared to his bark, how did you assess his challenge tonight? Yeah, I always knew it was going to be tough. Uh, the fight's in my back garden. There was a lot of pressure tonight, and I put that pressure on myself. I had a lot of support out there. It's been uh, a long time out the ring. Uh, but again, I've prepared fully, and I, I knew that Foley was going to bring it, uh, and he didn't, he didn't take a backward step tonight, and he gave, gave me the rounds and uh, that fight back that I needed. You said it would come down to levels. From what we've just seen, those 10 rounds, what separated the two of you as fighters tonight, Jack? Yeah, I think I just stayed disciplined tonight. I didn't go didn't do nothing too silly, uh, stuck to the game plan and just the, the cleaner boxing and uh, I think the better boxing IQ uh, got me the win tonight. This is very much the start of a new chapter for you, Matram, Design. There are a few names you mentioned ringside there. Just tell us the potential names you're interested in fighting and why this is an exciting period for you now. Yeah, it's an exciting period. Eddie's, uh, Eddie's started to, the wave has come back over to Matram and Design now with all these top 135, 140 fighters. Uh, we know Regis is fighting in three weeks. That's a fight that the almost Oscott got done a couple of months ago, so I'm interested in that. The Haney, the Garcia, uh, the IBF champ, there's, there's a lot of good fights to be made. When you think about all your family who have stuck by you, Jack, your friends who have stuck by you through this tough period, do you have a message, great support from, from the Chorley Massive in the house? Yeah, you've tonight. seen the numbers out there tonight. It was, uh, it was phenomenal, and I know my family's got me back and my supporters, so fair play to them. And when you think Love about you well. the fortnight that the gym has had, Yourself winning, Akib winning, Chantel Cameron beating Katie Taylor. I think it's fair to say it's been a fairly successful fortnight. Yeah, it's been an emotional roller coaster. We had the big one last weekend and then bringing that good vibration into fight week for me and Akib. Uh, hats off to Jamie, Nigel and Assam and the full team. Johnny, Sam, we've, uh, we've come through and done it all, so over the moon. Final word on Dara Foley. I know it's always respect after battle with yourself. Can he come again? I know Robbie Davis Jr. was ringside. Is that a, a rematch you'd be yeah, perhaps look, interested in seeing? Yeah, uh, Foley will come again. There's, there's some good domestic fights out there for Foley. Have a safe journey back. I'll probably never make it to Australia, but all the best. <laughs> Let's grab a quick word with Nigel. Is he here? There he is. Nigel, when you come, mate. We're going to grab a word with Nigel because I felt sorry for Jamie Moore there. Stood next to Ade on the live broadcast. He didn't quite get to grab a word. Jack, Jack if you want to slide in as well. Nigel, just said to Jack Cattrall there, emphasised on the 455 days out the ring, but what's impressed you about this man's discipline in that period out the ring? Just what he's done every single day in the gym. Uh, absolutely flawless as a professional. Just he's there, regardless. You know, regardless of. I, and I would understand him going. You know what? I can't be bothered going in today because I'm knackered or whatever. You know, he's maybe been up all night because his baby's been crying. But he's been there every single day. So all we can ask for is ten fantastic rounds like that. Really, really fantastic. And, uh, and it's worth its weight in gold. It really is, I think, you know. It's, it's a brilliant fight for everyone to see, uh, but also, you know, the, the, the work he's put in behind the scenes for him to show it, you know, and I do honestly believe, please believe me when I say, you scratched the surface there. You scratched the surface. You know, you, you saw in glimpses of how good he can be, and people say, yeah, but he never finished him off. I'm pleased he never finished him off. I'm pleased he got the turn round, I really am because it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Is he ready for the world now? Yeah, listen, he's, he, we know he's ready for the world. I understand everybody else you know, may think that he's um, not ready for the world. You know, uh, He wasn't before his last fight. He proved his last fight. It is certainly uh, on level with anybody in our, in, in our, in our sport at the 140 weight. So God willing, you know, he, he shows it and, and as a bit of a rest, you know, with his beautiful missus and his, and his gorgeous uh, baby Riley and, you know, listen, the, the future's bright. The future's definitely bright. Jack, just a quick final one from you because I know you've got other interviews to do. Um, every fighter I ask in this gym, Akin Fia, Chantel Cameron, yourself, they say that the team of Nigel Travis and Jamie Moore have much more, they're much more than just a training team. What sort of impact have these two had on you in the last while? Yeah, Jamie and Nigel are family and uh, it's, been, it's been a 
been a good four years, best four years of my career online. Great stuff. Jack, we're going to let you go and do the rest of your interviews. Congratulations. Great to see you back in the ring, Nige. Final word from you. I, I imagine this has probably been, as far as weeks go, a pretty good fortnight. Yeah, I've certainly had worse fortnights or weeks in, in, in the past uh, in the past 30 years, four years of the sport. So, yeah, it's a highlight, a bit of a highlight reel. And, uh, you know, listen, let, let it let it flow now. Let the beer flow. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Mrs. Lazarus will have a few beers and we can go and smash it. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> well done, mate. God bless, boys. <laughs>